Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and today I'm gonna be explaining a backrooms level called Where Everything is Dull. This level is a quiet wasteland of decaying gray material that gets worse every second you stay in it. If that sounds fun, then you're gonna enjoy it. Without any more talking and blabbering, let's get into it, shall we? Go sub to my second channel, Tookly, for daily uploads, thank you! So this backrooms level is classified as a class undetermined because of all its weird properties and unknown information about it. It has another name too, which is the Grayscale Park, and this level is said to be one of the most phenomenal and otherworldly levels in all of the backrooms. I think that might be true. Seriously, this is insane. The level itself is made up of a bunch of symmetrical rooms and structures that are huge and curvy and wavy. The structures themselves are in a black and white grayscale, just like everything else on this level, and they seem to be made out of aluminum. In some spots of the level, you can see what's outside of this grayscale park, and it's nothing but a white void. Just a white, empty space. As I said just now, the level has sloping and waving walls and ceilings, but you can actually walk on all of them. This is because for some reason, the gravity here lets your feet stick to any surface so you can just walk up walls and on ceilings and it would feel like you're walking normally with no problems. Now this doesn't even seem weird to me because it's the back rooms, but it's cool nonetheless and it comes into play later in the video too. Wanderers who have actually been here say that this level is cold and has a wet, moist feeling everywhere. Yeah, I said moist. There's actually been no wind here, which is pretty weird if it's cold and wet. And there's hardly been any sounds either, which leads the level to have a kind of isolation chamber feeling. The size of the level is also strange, and it's estimated to be around 10 kilometers tall and wide, or 6 by 6 miles. And all of it can modify and change itself at random times, which kind of gives it a non-Euclidean feeling like the one you get in level 0. This level is full of anomalies and weird things that make no sense, but for this video, I'll be focusing on two main ones. The first one is if you try to noclip through any of the structures here, then you'll just be sent back to where you entered the level from, and you have to start over. And when you do that, the surroundings of the level will morph and look slightly different, so you'll never be able to go the same path ever. No huge changes at first or anything, but it's enough to make you confused. The next anomaly that happens if you try to sleep on any of the structures here. If you fall completely asleep, the level will change while you're snoozing, and when you wake up, you won't be able to recognize anything. It's almost like the whole level knows that you won't be able to see it change when you're sleeping, so it does it then. Weird. Now, there are also four specific phases that happen on this level over the time that you're there, and each of these phases happens when someone sleeps and wakes up or moves, and I'll get into those now. Phase one is accessed by doing literally what I just said, sleeping and waking up here in the level. Now, the first time you do this, the level won't change too much, just kind of, but there will be a couple of misalignments and a few glitchy things that pop up. You'll be able to notice it, but it won't spark any curiosity yet. Now, phase two happens the second time that you fall asleep on this level. And when you wake up this time, you'll be in a completely different spot. Unlike the first phase, where you wake up where you were and things look slightly different, in this phase, you'll wake up in a different spot and everything will be different. You'll also start to see that some of the walls are cracking and decaying and oozing weird liquids. And during this phase, the level will also randomly shake and rumble, which could cause you to fall over if you're not watching. Now, the next phase, or phase three, happens if you somehow manage to fall asleep in the last phase and then wake up again. And this is when the level truly becomes a hazard. In phase three, the level will start to rotate and warp pretty quickly and it'll feel like a carnival ride, except it won't be fun, it'll be terrifying. Sometimes it moves so fast that it'll just throw you into walls and then it'll cause you to no clip right through them into other parts of the level. And at this point, the surfaces don't feel like metal anymore, they feel gooey and almost liquid. You also start to get weird feelings, like you're about to fall, even though you're standing completely still. And you also start to get vertigo and you'd be all woozy and wavy when you're walking. You're pretty much gonna feel like you got thrown into a blender and then turned on the highest setting. 
Now, if somehow you manage to survive that phase, you'll be in the last phase, or phase four. This is where the level becomes completely corrupt, and the walls and the floors are glitching in and on themselves, and there's literally no ground you can walk on, you'll just start falling through all the planes of reality and existence. Falling through floors and ceilings is common in this phase, and it's pretty much impossible to live through it, so you're gonna need to get out before this phase happens, and just stop going to sleep, and you won't have to worry about anything. But good thing I'm here to tell you how to get out. To exit this level, you'll have to do it soon after you get here, and you can do that by finding a slightly dented or broken piece of metal that's on the wall, and then start prying and ripping it off the wall, and once you do, jump through that hole, and you'll be sent to level 0, which is better than this place, in my opinion, definitely safer. Or, if you've just lost all ambition, you can jump into that white void that I talked about earlier, and you'll be sent to the void level, where you can float for all eternity. Or you could escape like I told you to. Who knows? To enter, well, it's not really been a consistent way, but the thought is you can only do it from enigmatic levels, which kind of narrows it down. Just watch out if you're on an enigmatic level, because you probably don't want to be here. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you are still watching, thank you so much. I mean, I really appreciate you. Comment Gray Brugley so I know that you're a real one and all the comments that I see with that, I'll heart. I'll even reply to them. I try to see all your comments and I see most of them. I have notifications on my phone, so uh, I do see most of them and I read all of them and I love replying to you all and talking to you all. Y'all are literally amazing and I appreciate your interaction with the videos and everything like that. Go down to the description and check out my second channel, Toogly, for daily posting and talks and that kind of thing and the other links down there as well if you're interested like my Twitter and Discords and that sort of thing. Thank Thank you so much for all you do for me. I love you all. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday, and I hope you're looking forward to Brugmas because this December is going to be awesome. So many uploads, so many awesome concepts I'm doing. Hope you're ready. Thank you all for everything, and I'll see you later. Peace. Also, for Brugmas this year, I will be uploading every day for the week before Christmas. So for seven days straight, I will be uploading from Sunday to Sunday until Christmas, the week right before. I'll be uploading literally a brand new video every single day. You'll get a full video of Brugly each of those days, and I hope you're really excited. I'm going to be going over levels 50 through 56, continuing the series where I go over levels in order. After that, my schedule will return back to normal, but... Don't worry, because next year is going to be awesome, people. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you later.